Hey there, fellow Tarnished. All right, getting started here with another episode of the Playthrough of Elden Ring. I'm Stubbs, the Wizard, your host. And um, <clears throat> I'm playing through as a stealth wizard. You see, he has a stealthy black knight armor on. Black knife armor on, I should say. And <clears throat> we are going today. Let's mark on the map. Um, we're going to largely ignore this stuff up here for now and I just remembered shoot there's an evasion up here I need to I need to, need to do so we'll, we'll do that maybe at the end of this video maybe a little later but we're going to come up here to the perfumer's grotto get that done go here uh, I don't need to put a marker there. But we're going to leave this area alone as well. We're going to get that later. And while we're going to come up here, ignoring everything, we might face uh, Moog here. And then we'll um, come to the Hermit Shack to get the grace there. Alright, <clears throat> we're interested in getting the um, to the suffering and shunning grounds, but we, we want to make, um, Dung Eater a puppet, right? So we're going to have to go down into the moat to talk to Boggart because you, you got to get his quest advanced. And we're going to ignore all this for now too. We're going to come along here and come into the capital on this bridge after we defeat the dragon sentinel here now remember I've already killed the horned Tragoth so I can't I can't um, get him to be summoned there and we'll come we're actually going to come back and do more in the capital once we advance toward past Via's quest when we can teleport in. So I'm just going to basically go through um, I'm not going to even mark here, but uh, I'll just, I guess I'll mark there, but I don't think that's exactly where it is. And then we're, we'll get to the subterranean uh, proving grounds. We won't get that all done in this episode. But uh, we're, that's that's our path. We're going to largely ignore everything so we can get Dung Eater to be a puppet because I can't... You can't... Once you get the Finger Slayer blade that Ronnie wants, you'll no longer be able to... Um, you'll no longer be able to get... Sol or not... Uh, Dung Eater is a puppet because Solovus will be turned into puppet himself, which that is not going to help. I'm going to change this to that because we have a rune bear coming up. Also, I tested this with um, a subscriber and buddy named I'm Not Great. We use sleep pots. How many do I have? I have three. So I want to just get a total of 10, let's say. Just for giggles. And I'm being some in the middle of the world. Great. Just got off my horse then. Unable to, well that was a waste of time. All right, um, or was I? Yeah, we need. So bears are very susceptible to sleep, and so I'm going to put it to sleep. Once it's asleep, why can't I summon the torrent there? What's going on? Oh man, it still thinks that I'm being summoned to the other world. 
So I can't, I can't get on torn. Uh oh. Hi guys. A night shard for you and a night shard for you. Okay, I don't know why I can't summon torrent here, but that's annoying. So, um, up here to the left, there's like a sort of an open cave up this trail. That is where the twilight shard is that you use for Celephus's potion if you're dumb enough to try to make Ronnie into a puppet. And when you do that, she makes Sylvus into a puppet and instantly kills you. So, but that's where you get that Amber Starlight from. It's on a weathered map that references it. Uh, that Pidia, oops, uh, sells up in uh, Carrier Manor. So you get it from him. All right, I am going to get my sleep pot ready. Now, once the bear falls over asleep, well, this guy is not really a problem. Once the, once the rune bear falls over asleep, you can go up and critical him, but actually my night comet does far more damage. Although I could. You know what? We could test it by doing the dagger talisman. Uh, sure. Let's do that. All right, here we go. There he is. Oh, there's another one. That's just a regular bear. Uh, if I don't get the sleep pot off, this is not going to be good. Come on through it. Uh oh. Let's see what happens. Uh, that was not as well as I, I might have hoped. Oh no! There he goes to sleep. Now I'm just gonna use Night Comet. Oh my gosh. He closed it so quickly. Oh my gosh. I'm about to take a dirt nap, everybody. Okay. That was not good. Steak America. Where does that put me? That's interesting. I'm way up here. Oh, I'm not that far up. This is for giggles. So maybe, you know, I am going to do the sleep method again, but I'm, this time I'm going to, uh, Oh, my God. 
Oh, they are waiting to back up. No! It's... So the same money on these bears is dodge towards them. It's very counterintuitive. Uh, okay, so the sleep method that worked earlier on <laughs> for this more, I guess, extreme rune bear or leveled up rune bear, rune bear, <laughs> rune bear uh, he's too, I can't do enough damage while he's asleep. Actually, I probably can if I didn't try to critical him with the misericord. Well, what's going on over here, I wonder? There we go. You guys occupy him. Uh, that guy's stuck. So, we're at the Perfumer's Grotto. Uh, this one's interesting because it um, connects to the old Altus Tunnel. Or maybe the Altus Tunnel. I think it's the Altus Tunnel, not the old one. Perfumer's Grotto. We have arrived. And we are going to go ahead and start going to it. I'm going my sleep pot. I don't think we're going to use a sleep pot again. Let's... Um... Make this give me help. Yes. Uh, no, actually I want to uh, have this... Reach so I can snipe. This makes me realize I also haven't done another part of uh, Limgrave. Need to go do. I gotta write down some notes on the things I have to do. I've got to do the invasion over at um, the Shaded Castle. And uh, I also got to go get the other... Hey, there's a dude. In front of What's going on? I'm just launching stuff into the... Scenery. No worries. I think there were... Oh. I actually thought there were wolves around, but maybe not. Let's snipe them. Draw them out. Oh, just missed him. I think he just fell. Maybe not. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I'm out. Oh, there he is. Oh, we want to remember what's in there. We'll find out together. And hopefully I will not embarrass myself in a boss fight I am unprepared for. But this wizard is pretty prepared. Most things. I believe I mentioned that he is a stealth wizard. Only using nice spells and no melee. Which is a little challenging, I'll be honest with you. Uh, 
There we go. And that's why I use the dual stage of loss. He's a pure mage with uh, 99 intelligence, which I think I may have already covered. But I'm getting a little tired. And so it's better to say it twice than not at all. Okay, here we go. Um, what did that say? Oh, left. Oh, that's really coming straight at it. I remember this area. Let's see. There's perfumers down here as well. Let's see if this will get them. Oh, it does. See, the meat of the flower is a laser attack. But not immune to my night spell. <coughs> Pardon me. Ah, spring in Indiana. We have all sorts of allergy stuff. Sorry. Tell you what, we had a huge thunder line of thunderstorms come through last night. And um We had some tornadoes and so forth. Um, it, you know, everybody's okay here, but uh, I think there was. It went all the way, I think, like from. I don't know how far south it went, but it was like all the way through Ohio and all that. It's pretty, pretty big uh, storm system. And uh, I think some people lost their lives. Uh, not in Indiana that I know of. But uh, I think maybe in Ohio, I think Kentucky it hit as well. Huge, huge storm system. So that's kind of springtime in uh, Indiana. And you, you know, you just hope people stay safe. Oh, this is the hang, hang dude. You know what? I wonder. Let's see what Night Maid's Mist does. Probably nothing. Oh, it fell all the way off. How droll. Alright. Funny he didn't see me. It would kill him before the star, uh, the star shower started, or the meteors. So, it's interesting, over there, that is the other end of the Altus Tunnel. And I think that is so clever that they put that in there. And we'll be over there. Uh, and actually, if you don't kill this thing here first, uh, that is very annoying to get through <laughs> with this thing shooting its rocks at you and stuff. I'm not sure if anything's up there. Arterial leaf. I've never used that before, but I assume it does stuff with blood loss or blood whatever. Blood magic. What's this in here? Are these snails? I don't know what that was. No, it's a flower. Is that all of them? Okay, I really don't know who... What boss is in here. My suspicion... Is it is a flower with somebody else? I thought I don't think it's Trisha because I think I already caught Trisha in another like a catacomb or something. I don't really remember, so we'll find out. This is the way to find out. I'm gonna no need to snipe in there, so I'm gonna put this back on just for giggles and yeah, I guess that's it. We'll go see what's in there. Maybe it's a maybe. It's, maybe this is the misbegotten in here. We'll find out. Oh, that's the only guy. I think he closes so quickly. 
Oh my god. Lo siento no mas. Miranda the blighted one. Up your immense flower bud. Alright, we're just gonna night come through this. The hard part of that fight is the omen killer. Um, they... And what's, what's tough is, um, a mage, of course, is a ranged fight. A ranged fighter, we should say. And, um, it... The omen, the omen... Uh, hunters close very, very quickly. I don't think I need to rest. I need to remove the sleep pot, though. I will not be using a sleep pot to rest the playthrough. So we are going to bypass most of the soldiers here. Now, um, rather than killing these guys, maybe I should kill them, see if they have any items. But rather than killing them, I, I think I will probably sneak in. Um, because I'm a sneaky mage. Let's see. If I can summon someone, I'll, I'll go in there. But they should start going forward now. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that there's a great... I'm not sure there's a great point in facing them. But you know what? I am gonna take four giggles. And I about died. The other guy catches on, that's when he gets dicey. Stuff. Mimic here. Help, help. What is the mimic here doing? There you go. Did I give you anything? Did I get anything? No. Let's see if I get the second guy. This may have been a mistake because I only have one health flask left. seemed easier than the other one. Oh yeah, Night Mist on. Earth Tree, Great Shield. There's a one. Well, that, I mean, that wasn't bad treasure. I've obviously killed them before because it didn't say new on the Earth Tree thing. So there we go. I have one health question left. And we won't have to kill them again. We'll get some golden seeds we can't use. Now over here to the right, there's a uh, tree spirit guarding a thing that, uh, I don't know, a wagon. I guess it's kind of a camp with a wagon in it that has uh, the giant's hammer. You know what? I'm going to have to rest here because I don't have enough. i, I got to face the gargoyle coming up. And... What we'll do, I'm going to go ahead and level up, and we'll end it here. But I'd like to take a moment to mention the Free Time Creators Collective. If you want to get more gaming uh, videos, 
that's where you go and I'm part of that and there's a group of maybe I don't know seven or eight others that uh, make that up there's smaller channels that provide gameplay and there's all sorts of different games like Zelda Final Fantasy certainly Elden Ring others um, there's uh, different play styles and different different uh, recording methods and things like that so uh, give them a look I'll put I'll put the links in the description to their channels. I appreciate you going out there, giving them a look, and seeing what uh, what's what. If you like them, and you know, go from there. So we're going to work to get endurance up to twenty three. That's what we need to do for my new game plus. That's what we're working on, and we'll just get that going there. And uh, so yeah, look at the uh, other channels that I have linked in the description fun gameplay really great people all very supportive and it's fun to kind of watch the smaller channels grow and as this video if you'd like that'd be great subscribe to the channel would be really appreciated i also really enjoy getting comments and interacting with everybody and i appreciate you watching and as long as you keep watching them i'll keep making them thanks